Hello everyone, it's March week three and time for the Let's Get Arty stroke mixed media prompt in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium. And as I always say, for anybody that wants to follow along with our prompts and challenges, I'll leave the link to the Facebook group in the description box below. Um, just be aware there are four entry questions and if you don't answer them, your request to join will be automatically declined. Now I've got here a really old Kaisercraft um, dictionary stamp and some stays on ink um, a 300 gsm piece of watercolor paper and i'm just going to add some basic stamping well my goodness me i haven't done a voiceover in a very very long time but as soon as i um, started recording this video the tree surgeons arrived in the house next door and it's right next to my craft room and it was just so loud and noisy it was just impossible to film um so i waited and waited for quite a few hours and you know in the end I just decided to go ahead and um, you know finish recording this video and hence the voiceover. So let me try and explain my process. I'm using several really old stamps that I've had in my stash for goodness knows how long. Um, the first one is a dictionary stamp by Kaisercraft. Um, next up, um, a background stamp by Indigo Blue. Um, I've started off using Stays On Ink in Jet Black, then coming in with um, Speckled Egg Distress Oxide. And finally, Memento Ink Espresso Truffle and using a another Kaisercraft stamp um, called Film Edges and just trying to build up um, a really interesting background. And I'm trying my best to be very random about where I'm placing these stamps, um, just trying to make something that just looks cohesive but um, in a random way. And I just like the look of using the three different colours as well, although, you know, they're very similar in tone. Now for anyone who watched my Gesso Resist um, background video, um, which I published a couple of weeks ago, you might recognise this stamp here. Um, I think this is an Andy Skinner stamp. Um, if not, I'll leave the details in the description box below. Um, but I'm just adding a bit of stamping with this. I love this stamp. I can't believe that I've had it in my stash for so long um, and not really used it. But I'm really embracing the mixed media vibe again and then back in with that first um, stamp by indigo blue and the speckled egg again um, just to add a touch more um, details to the outside I want a bit more of that blue color showing Next up, I'm using some picture framing tape. I want to add some texture to my piece. Now, I love this tape. Um, it's translucent so that you can see all of the detail of that stamping um, underneath when I stick it down. And you can see that I'm just tearing it. I want raggedy edges. I don't want anything that looks too contrived. Um, so just, you know, trying to end up with a few random pieces here and gluing or sticking um, that first piece lengthwise down and just wrapping the edges over the top of my page um, and you can see um, all of that beautiful stamping underneath and then I'm going to tear another piece off as well and just um, uh, apply that across the top so just adding another couple of layers across the top just to um, pad that out and make it look more cohesive. And again, I'll just wrap um, the edges around the back of the page. Let's start adding some colour to this page. I'm using um, a paint by Stamperia and it's called um, Vintage Patina and the colour is turquoise. And I'm also adding this to some Distress Crackle paste um, in Opaque. And this is um, a Ranger 
Tim Holtz product, um, I do believe. Um, you can see I'm also using a stencil and the stencil is one by Mike Deakin. Um, there is no name um, of the stencil on the packaging. So you'll have to go and check out his website to see if you can figure out um, which one this is. But um, this was gifted to me by my lovely friend, Linda. Um, and I just thought this would be perfect for this project. Um, so you can see that now that I've mixed the um, the paste um, together with the paint, I'm just spreading it um, through that stencil um, and hoping for some lovely, lovely crackle at the end of it. Now, of course, my <laughs> application was far from perfect and I've got some patching up to do, but it's okay. Um, it just adds texture to the rest of the page. Now the best thing to do is to leave this to dry naturally but of course time is never um, on my side so I've pulled out my heat tool and just look at that beautiful um, crackle texture absolutely gorgeous I just love that so much um, now what I felt I wanted a bit more on the right hand side um, as well and so I've just marks, masked off um, another piece and you know got more of it <laughs> where I don't want it than where I do but um, isn't that always the case so be careful with this just using my spatula now um, just to try and spread it where I want it and hitting it with my heat tool again just to get those crackles um, to show the texture is just absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, I want um, another line on the um, other horizontal, so just adding more texture paste. Um, you can see I've added more masking tape as well, just so that I can be more careful <laughs> to make sure that I get my texture paste exactly where I want it. Um, but I just think it's just lovely. Now, of course, no mixed media piece is finished without um, a few splatters. So I've just added some of my um, patina colour um, and watered it down. And I'm just adding a few splatters using my scissors here, as you can see. You could use any um, acrylic paint, watercolour paint, anything you like. You know, you do not have to use the same materials as me, uh, you know, please do bear that in mind. Now, of course, I want to frame my piece here. So I'm just using some Distress Oxide ink here, um, using my brush as well, just to frame around my piece. Um, I just find the brush is far more subtle than um, the blending tools. My next step is to try and accentuate the texture of the crackles. And I've pulled out some antiquing polish um, in brown. Now, I'm only using this because I have it in my stash. You could use a Distress Crayon. You could use um, watered down acrylic paint. You know, use what you have. Um, but, you know, the antiquing polish will just settle in the crevices and just make um, those um, crackles more obvious. I'm using a damped um, uh, kitchen towel now just to take the excess away. Um, and I just just love that look it's just beautiful um, then coming in here with some um, strands of string these are just leftovers that I've had in a box from previous um, projects and using an old piece of burlap as well that I've frayed um, around the edges just to add more texture to my page um, gluing it down just using dis um, my um, uh, art glitter glue um, again just adding a fine bead just just do this burlap here as well just so that it doesn't sink through to the other side um, and I just think this will add a really nice texture and element to my page. I weighted it down underneath a heavy book for a few minutes or two and now you can see that I'm cutting the edges away and just trying to fray those as well just to make it look more organic. Um, I just love the way that this looks. And now the last few finishing touches. I've pulled out one of the um, chipboard 
quotes by Tim Holtz. Um, I find these really thick and just far too thick to go into my journal. So you can see that I'm just trying to peel off a few of the layers. Um, so this um, quote is limited edition, just going around it with some walnut stain as well, just to frame the edges. And this is going to be the, bra uh, the grounding point for my ballerina girl, um, which is one of the Tim Holtz um, art dolls. Um, just absolutely gorgeous I think she just works so well with the rest of the page so just um, positioning my quote in place just so that she can stand on that um, to ground her I'm just using art glitter glue just to um, position my quote in place and to ground my girl as well she's so pretty isn't she so just you know using a bit of glue um, just around the edges to make sure that she's um, securely glued in place. And then I just want to add one final finishing touch. I've pulled out um, one of the Tim Holtz quotes from the Small Talk collection, um, Be You Bravely, which I think goes really well with the limited um, edition. So just inking around the edges um, again with some ink and that's the final touch to my page. Hello everyone, I thought I'd pop in at the end of the video. Um, as you've gathered, I've done a voiceover this week. Um, it's Friday as I'm recording this and our next door neighbours have had the tree surgeons in cutting back their trees all day today. And for anybody who's followed me for any length of time and seen the um, posts that I pop on Facebook, the woods um, are right um, against my craft room. So it's just been impossible to record as I normally would so hence the voiceover but they've gone home now it's five o'clock um so they've obviously clocked off and so i thought i'd pop in and say hello um this is the page i've done for today i absolutely love it um i have done something similar to this in the past about four or five years ago um when we did the art journal prompts um but i'm really happy with this now i have decided that i'm going to add it to this page here in my journal but I'm just going to add um, this to that page here. I know that I'm covering up the book text, but, you know, I like having the page number at the bottom. And I think it goes really well next to the paper bag as well. And so that is my finished page um, for today. So, you know, if you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas and inspiration, as always, I'd very much appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.